Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm reviewing this product from this brand named Cetaphil. This is their Pro Derma Control Oil Absorbing Moisturizer with Sunscreen, Broad Spectrum SPF 30. Price of this moisturizer with sunscreen is $16 and we get 118 ml product. By the way, make sure to watch the whole video. I will recommend you some sunscreens that are great for oily skin. This sunscreen is fragrance free, alcohol free, essential oil free. If you care about parabens and silicones, this is paraben free but this is not silicone free. This has two different type of silicone. Silicones in sunscreens and moisturizer, they're great because they're lightweight, they lock the moisture in and help with transepidermal water loss. I personally really like silicones because they're really lightweight. They're actually a good option if your skin is oily. This sunscreen is not fungal acne safe and if I'm not wrong, Cetaphil is not cruelty free. Cetaphil reformulated a lot of their products but I think this product is still the same. They just changed the packaging because the ingredient list is still the same. So this product has 3% avibenzone. Avibenzone is an old generation chemical filter. It protects your skin from UVA rays. Avibenzone is not very stable. They stabilized it in this sunscreen. They added 7% octocrylene. Octocrylene protects your skin from UVB rays and it helps avibenzone last longer. And this also has 5% octisalate. Octisalate protects your skin from UVB rays. This also has glycerine, a great humectant. This also has vitamin E, a great antioxidant. This also has allantoin and panthenol. These are soothing and calming ingredients. So the main selling point is this is oil controlling or oil absorbing. In my experience, this sunscreen is a lot lighter than other American chemical sunscreens that I tried. This is a lot lighter than those. This control acts as sebum, like it don't make you a grease ball at the end of the day. But if you have oily skin, your skin is going to look a little shiny at the end of the day. But this is still a lot lighter than other American chemical sunscreens that I tried. This does control excess sebum, but if your skin is oily, your skin is going to look a little shiny at the end of the day. The thing about these old generation chemical filters is, and the reason why I don't use them anymore, these are very irritating. Not only they burn your eyes, but they irritate your skin as well. In my experience, this sunscreen was very irritating. Not only it was irritating my face, my eyes, my neck is sensitive and I could not use this sunscreen on my neck. This was very irritating and in my experience, it's avibenzone and octocrylene. They burn my eyes and burn my skin and this has 3% avibenzone and 7% octocrylene. I did not like this sunscreen at all. If you have this sunscreen, if you're using this sunscreen and if you're enjoying this sunscreen, continue to use this. But my experience was not that good. This was irritating my skin and burning my eyes. This sunscreen is not sweat and water resistant. This don't hold at all. Oh my God, you sweat a little bit and suddenly it's in your eyes and oh my God, you cry the whole day. I was wearing this sunscreen. I went out with my mother to do some grocery shopping. Because I was holding a lot of groceries, I started sweating. Oh my god. I started crying out of nowhere. This burn your eyes really bad. So if your skin is really sensitive, if your eyes are really sensitive, this is going to irritate your skin and it's going to burn your eyes. If you are from America, in America, you know, they don't have new generation chemical filters available there. If you can't buy sunscreen from other countries then i will recommend you to give this one a try because this is a lot lighter than other american sunscreens that i've tried but if other sunscreen other countries sunscreens new generation chemical filters are easily available i will recommend you to go with those but if you have this sunscreen easily available there then i will recommend this to people who have oily skin or combination skin i think you will enjoy this if you have dry skin or if you have sensitive skin, I won't recommend you this sunscreen. Especially if you have sensitive skin, I won't recommend you this sunscreen. This was very irritating. My experience with this sunscreen was not that good. I won't purchase this sunscreen again. These new generation chemical filters are so good. I started using those and they work so well. They are so lightweight. They feel so light on the skin and they protect your skin way better. They are more photostable. I have some sunscreens here that are great for oily skin. I'm not comparing these sunscreen to this because the price point is different, but these are great for oily skin. The first one is this one from Bioderma. This is their Photoderm Max 
SPF 50 plus this is the aqua fluid version non tinted this has avibenzone and if I'm not wrong this also has octocrylene but this also has new generation chemical filters like Dinosorb M and Dinosorb S this provide great protection not only from UVB rays but also from UVA rays they used three different powders in this sunscreen and those powders make this sunscreen very lightweight this is perfect for oily skin this has Dinosorb M Dinosorb M leave a little white cast on my complexion this was not leaving white cast but brightening effect if you have darker complexion it might be noticeable on your skin but if your complexion is similar to my complexion or lighter than my complexion i think you will be fine using this sunscreen this has old generation chemical filters in my experience this was burning my eyes but it wasn't that bad i was tolerating it but if your eyes are really sensitive then definitely avoid this one but this is a good option for oily skin another great option if you live in a colder country and you have oily skin i think you will be fine using this sunscreen from benton this is their air fit uv defense sun cream spf 50 plus pa4 plus this has new generation four chemical filters this also has tinosorb m but this don't leave white cast at all and the tint of this sunscreen is green this also hide redness really well this sunscreen is amazing my holy grail i love this sunscreen so much i loved it so much i purchased it again this sunscreen has rosemary essential oil scent that might bother some people in my experience after like a minute you don't smell anything at all it fades really fast but if you have really sensitive skin then might avoid this but this also has really nice soothing and calming ingredients like this has panthenol niacinamide this also has four active compounds of santala these are really soothing and calming ingredients if you live in a colder country and you have oily skin i think you will be fine using this sunscreen i really like this sunscreen this is my favorite if you don't mind using mineral sunscreens if you don't mind their white cast i have three mineral sunscreens here all of these are great for oily skin zinc oxide control access sebum zinc oxide is great if you have oily skin so the first one I have here is this one from Biore. This is their UV Kids Pure Milk SPF 50 PA4+. This has 18% something zinc oxide. This leave white cast, but this is shine free and it's very sweat and water resistant. This hold really well and perfect if you have oily skin because this control access sebum all day. I liked using this sunscreen. I was also really liked using it on my body so if you have oily skin and you don't mind that white cast give this one a try i think you will like this another one from neutrogena this is their liquid sunscreen broad spectrum spf 50 this is also great if you have oily skin this control access sebum all day the finish is a little on the shiny side a lot of people who have oily skin they don't really appreciate shiny finish but it's not that bad but if you have oily skin i think you will really really enjoy this and this last sunscreen this one is a little expensive but it's so good this one from anessa this is their perfect uv sunscreen mild milk spf 50 plus pf4 plus this one is expensive 40 dollars and you get only 60 ml product but this has zinc oxide and titanium dioxide and this also has three new generation chemical filters this sunscreen is great not only it's very sweat and water resistant but this is very light on the skin on my experience this was very light it control access sebum all day shine free i really like this sunscreen this is my holy grail this is my favorite sunscreen to use in summer this is amazing so yeah these are some of the sunscreens that are great for oily skin that i tried back to this sunscreen if you have oily skin or combination skin and you live in a colder country i think you will be fine using this sunscreen if you have sensitive skin if your eyes are sensitive if your skin is sensitive then i will definitely recommend you to avoid this this is not a bad sunscreen it's just these old generation chemical filters in my experience they are just very irritating so i don't use them anymore i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you enjoyed make sure to give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye